Hello and welcome to our midweek conversation at First Baptist Sweetwater, where we strive to be the first responders of God's love. I'm here, uh, I'm Jerry Hendricks, and I'm here sharing a moment with T. Hamilton. We are, <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm having a moment. <laughs> Do we need to start over? No, we can go. Okay, we're going to power through. Uh, yeah, so yesterday, I mean, we've been doing a series on moments. Yes. And uh, yesterday, I think I got a little bit more specific about how some of those moments in my life have been mm -hmm. uh, defined, you know, things that you get to do for people. And, and I do think that being in youth ministry, uh, you're kind of in that place where you try to create those moments. Right. I know you do a lot of special things for our students that right. are, are things that they will remember uh, for, the, yeah, for the rest of goal. their life. And uh, so... Yeah, so I'm headed home and I have Sharon. I say, Sharon, text Teak and Stacy for me. And next tomorrow's podcast is going to be Moments with Teak and Stacy. Now, you'll notice that Stacy's not here this morning. She does have a job. <laughs> well, congratulations. Through the rest of this week. She's not on summer break yet. People who have jobs. <laughs> she's, she's at school for the rest of this week. So she'll be on our show sometime later this summer? I'm sure she will. I don't think that she will. It's the first thing she did when she looked at that text was she said, what's Jerry talking about? Okay. What so did you may, volunteer so me for? So maybe what we need to do is like a social media poll on whether or not Stacy will ever join us on a podcast. Oh. Does we she gone? get to vote? <laughs> of course. She'll be on a podcast. We'll get her on. Okay. It can't be that hard. Well, what, th thinking about yesterday where I, I gave a couple of examples mm -hmm. of moments, uh, our family, or, or I, have had a lot of moments with Teak and Stacy around camp. I mean, even around though y'all were in our church for a while, yeah. probably the moments as we as we think of moments mm -hmm. uh, occurred uh, during camp. And yeah. so one of the ones I'm remembering was tra when we traveled to um, Oklahoma. To Oklahoma. Yeah. We didn't even talk about this ahead of time, but when you said traveled, I knew where we were going. Yeah, so that, because that was one of the longest trips that we took mm -hmm. to do a camp. I think that, and that might have been the first summer that you and Stacy had joined us. So what, what we did, Teak and Stacy hmm. uh, led our uh, student leaders, a lot like what mm -hmm. we do at children's camp. Right. But, uh, and my children were a couple of the student leaders, mm -hmm. and then some kids from Cross Point, and then one from Potosi as well. Right. And then Kirk House, who was our uh, worship guy yeah. at the time at the church. And so, uh, but that's really where I began to see how Teak and Stacy work together and also how they work with the group. Yeah. But uh, that's probably those, our prettiest location we've ever oh been to. Oh, my goodness. To. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was long for, for the way that we do camp. And it's, you know, particularly nowadays where we just go to Brownwood for right. three different weeks. But uh Definitely, the the scenery was pretty, mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing was we meeting new people. Yeah, because the band that was there we had not worked with before, right. and then we also picked up a a person in Dallas that we had never okay. that y'all had never met. I only knew him, Tyler. Yeah. I only met through uh, a friend of mine who was the student minister at that right. church. Tyler was awesome. He was so, so fun. Yeah, it was a I lot of that guy. It was, I think what. The reason that moment stood out to me in, in more than any of the others was because we were, it was, I'm guessing it was the first camp of the summer. Yeah, I think and so. And back then, we may have done four. We we did more. Yeah, because we did hard and early days. Days. Murray and Baylor. I mean, we were all over the place. Yeah, and so uh, it was one of those things where we kind of, bonded in our vehicles on the way up mm -hmm. there and then once we got there there were uh, uh, times where we bonded as well so they really were there were, that was a fun camp and because it was our first time together as a team and you understood the team better i mean it, the kids the disney kids did the videos right. was that noise year uh i don't remember and we discovered that you should never do a theme that's hard to decorate it's hard to <laughs> decorate for invisible and noise yeah but we had it some might have been stuff. invisible i believe it invisible. was invisible okay yeah and uh, so, <coughs> well, and Russell Cottle was with us. Yep. So we had Russell, a mixture Sean. of kids from my student ministry. That oh, I wait, was Sean there? I don't think he was I there. Don't remember, I don't remember Sean being with us at yeah. that point. He, I was with Sean at Baylor. That's where yeah. Sean taught me all he knew. Yeah. So, it took uh, an intense week. Anyways, it's, uh, it's fun to think about those times. And then, too, you know, we're, here we are on the, the front edge of uh, summer, mm -hmm. knowing that we'll... 
we'll be creating those moments with children during uh -huh. children's camp and also youth during youth camp. And you talk about moments. There's a lot that are funny moments, mm -hmm. like that they're memorable. But the, the most meaningful ones are the ones that you experience as you develop the relationship with each other. So talking about the relationship you have with your leadership as you bring in kids and they're helping serve at children's camp and things like that. That's a lot of fun. Um, and those are the moments you remember. Um, but, you know, we even mentioned with Sanders sending yesterday the moment of Connor drinking out of Stacy's water bottle, <laughs> that that bonded them for life. Um, and I don't think Connor or Stacy will ever forget that. Yeah. So, but no, it's, those are great moments. Yeah. Well, and a lot of the moments that we share in the life of the church are spontaneous moments. Mm. Obviously, during camps and things like that, you, you've already kind of created a culture for those experiences to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes they're, they're good, sometimes they're bad, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they're humorous. Uh, but uh, in the life of the church, I think probably one of the things that as I look at it now in today's culture and the way we do church today, when you don't have as many activities, mm -hmm. then it's, it's less likely that you have those moments. Right. But like, but even the water boats uh, at uh, Heart of Texas. At, at, no, 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 no. At uh, at the pool. Oh, you know, oh last yeah, yeah. Year, cardboard I mean, boat races. Yeah, yeah, cardboard boat races. That was one of those examples, though, where we, where the objective pretty much was, let's create a moment that people would not want to miss. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I don't know how many pictures are on my uh, <laughs> camera roll uh, from that night, and then even I saw some on your anniversary. Shout out yep. to Stacy. Yep. Uh, but that's, I'll never forget that night. I'm sending those pictures to, uh, but, well, but because of the Whataburger affection, you had the Whataburger boat, or the right. water boat. Yeah, the Whataburger. Yeah. And Whataburger actually tweeted back to me on that and yeah. sent me a package of like swag. Oh, wow. I forgot so that about was cool. that. Yeah. But this year I'm going, well, I can't say what we're doing, but I'm already taunting some of the key competitors with our boat idea that we've got. Oh, okay. So it's going to be better. They said, are you bringing water boat? I was like, we tore that up and threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't put it in the Whataburger <laughs> Museum, so, yeah. so we, uh, we were starting new. Yeah, but I think, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like I was saying yesterday, it's, you, can't, you can't always manufacture those moments. Right. I was reading, I've been reading uh, lately uh, a biography, and, and it's uh, of uh, John Wooden mm -hmm. and some of his, bat, some of his teams, mm -hmm. and he talked about one of the turning points in, in their in that, that particular championship team. And he had, I think, 11 of them, mm -hmm. 11 or 12. At UCLA? At UCLA. And, uh, but they were, they had already had a game. They're, they're, it's the UCLA team. They had a game uh, in Indiana and then were traveling by bus to Notre Dame mm -hmm. for the next uh, game a few days later. And, but it, they had one of those moments on the bus where players started talking and then as they started talking, it was a tumultuous time. Civil rights was a, right. a hot topic, Vietnam War mm -hmm. during that time. But it, there were times when the conversation got heated. And as, as conversations went on and people started sharing their viewpoints, the, the audience on that bus grew. But you can, having been in those situations mm -hmm. on that athletic bus or the band bus, right. whatever it is, you, you, if you've had those experiences, sometimes the group is just drawn together right. And they said that for that particular year, that's where that team gelled. Mm -hmm. So they, they had this moment together that was not, was not planned. It wasn't on the schedule. Uh, and as many, like I know today, a lot of athletic teams really focus on the, the start of the season, a lot of team building activities mm -hmm. and things like that. This one just occurred naturally right. out, of, uh, out of people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And then they were willing to listen to one another uh, and and not trying to convince and de it through their debate, but uh, learning to love and appreciate one another. So uh, those are the moments that are more binding anyway than one that you try to prefab and prepare for and create. Oh yeah, the ones that naturally just evolve in yeah. that moment. Well, and so I think <clears throat> you know if we're a couple of things as we kind of move to the close of uh, this series, and it does close out with one that is quite memorable, which mm -hmm. is Pentecost, this Sunday's Pentecost Sunday. Apparently not very memorable because there was cricket. <laughs> when I thought I tossed well, a softball one up yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I, I knew I you were have really known. disappointed in your students. I should have known that you don't, it, it's not set up for that moment. <laughs> I'm but, that word, but here, for people to talk back to you. 
Well, we have to remember that when we give announcements, no one's listening. <laughs> that is true. And, that that, is that's, true. And, and just, okay, meditate mm -hmm. on that for a moment, audience. When we're giving announcements, no one's listening. Right. Man, that's disheartening. When you're the one giving announcements <laughs> week in, week out. It's, it's only disheartening when they come to you later and they say, well, I didn't know about that. Oh, no, it's a reality. It, it is a reality. <laughs> well, what do you mean you didn't know about that? But we're going to have our shirts yeah. and say it was in the bulletin. Yeah, right. We're going to get those and yeah. we'll hand it out. Yeah. <laughs> so this week's Pentecost Sunday. And, yes. you know, it's uh, really, of, of all the moments we've talked about, this is one that we look forward mm. to every year as we think about uh, the birth of the church and the beginning uh, that we've had. And uh, Sunday, I'll, you know, we're at a... You need this unique place in a uh, <coughs> in transition in pastoral leadership, and so uh, I'm thinking that probably it's going to have sort of a interim pastor tone. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, as if I was an outsider speaking mm -hmm. into the life of the church. But uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, Sunday and that theme. It's an easy one to build on. So our our study Sunday morning last Sunday was on Jesus promising the coming of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's pretty cool that it fell there. And then the next week is the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Right. So, Well, and so one of the key elements that you use in, in the youth area mm -hmm. to help students remember is uh, you, y'all have a birthday cake. We have a birthday party, Because yeah. it's the celebration of the birth of the church. Right. We have a birthday party, birthday cake, candles, uh, bubbles. Right. Because we're talking about moving the Spirit. Um, and I bought a new... Um, bubble experience. I'll just say that. I'm not oh, going to yeah. say what it is, but I'm excited about it. Wow. So. Well, good deal. So uh, a lot that's it's in, in already in that moment that we are able to share and look at, mm -hmm. look at the Bible. So moving forward, when we kind of see this particular series in the rearview mirror, I think one of the things, and, and we realize that a lot of times there's themes that we use that kind of stick with us and, and create create a memory for us mm -hmm. that's broader than just the, the text uh, because it's somehow we're connected to it and it's, and it's easy to work with. And so I think moments is, is one of those kinds of themes for us. And uh, the, the hope is, is that we'll become more sensitive to the moments that, that are created around us mm -hmm. uh, week in and week out. Right. And, I, and I think just like the illustration of uh, a college basketball team on a bus uh, or others that are similar to that, we, we seek out those moments, or at least we in our relationship uh, with God and our growth, our spiritual growth, we become open to being sensitive to those mm -hmm. moments that are created for us. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's, I just now had another flashback of moments that of just intense conversations, particularly with students, like on a van mm -hmm. and, uh, and things like that. So, and those can be for good or for bad, also. Right, but exactly. They end up being moments. Yeah, uh, and so the other is is that I think as you start to read scripture, at least maybe while the thought is fresh on our mind, you start to see the story that's in scripture come alive by looking through that moment. Mm. And I think that's kind of what's happened to me as I've gotten engrossed into uh, that thought and mindset for the last three weeks. Uh, I really enjoyed the, ver the, the, the verses yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know why. It, it had more of a personal touch and personal tone for me uh, than the others that I've done, right. or even the Pentecost one right. was, because it, there was just something about that and the way that that moment where Jesus uh, is, is, is caught in this moment where he's praying himself, mm -hmm. and then he turns that prayer and he begins to pray for his disciples. Right. And so... Uh, Anyways, uh, it's been good, been, been fun to work through that. For this summer, uh, we will start the summer uh, with uh, uh, going through, we'll start with the Gospel of Matthew. Okay. Uh, and then the first month, uh, is there's sort of some different agendas. We have mm -hmm. P3 Sunday, mm -hmm. and then also Dr. Lyle will be here on Father's Day right. uh, while you're and I are at camp. So it's, it's not really a two-week series that I'm doing, but it's sort of a, a prequel. Is that what right. you call that? Yeah, I yeah, like it. To the rest of the summer. And we'll be focusing on the Gospel of Matthew around chapters 9 through 12 or 13 okay. uh, for the rest of the summer. Uh, and uh, I have done just a little bit of checking on that. We haven't done a lot of those. Mm -hmm. uh, for one, it's in that series where, uh, or the cycle where it's also a lot of Romans. Uh -huh. as, and we did a Roman, Roman study one summer. Yeah. Yeah. 
so I knew I didn't cover the Matthew Gospel or the Gospels then. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, uh, should be fun. Uh, you've got a fun weekend coming up. Yeah, it's going to get some time away. Traveling, going Kansas City and Tulsa. I'm going right. to watch Savannah Bananas and the Royals. Yeah, I'm probably more excited about Savannah Bananas than the Royals, but it's a new stadium we've never been to, so it's yeah. good. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, so. Well, we uh, thank you for checking in on us this week. Uh, it's been fun having this conversation, living through this experience of the moments that we've had with one another uh, through relationships and also through the life of our church. And we look forward to being a part of your uh, Sunday this week as we continue this series and wrap, this, wrap it up by looking at Pentecost from uh, the book of Acts. Wear red. Wear red. I'm wearing red. I already, know. I already, I already picked it out. So You're already ready for it. I'm ready. So... See you guys Sunday. See ya.